Good morning and blessed fourth Sunday of Advent. And uh, what is the messianic title for today? We're we'll looking at both of those. King of all the nations. The first uh, fourth Sunday of Advent. Um, time's running out. You'll be back in church in two days if you're a Christmas goer. Or if uh, you're not a church goer, it may be the first time you've been back in church since Easter or Christmas. <laughs> I don't mean to take that as a dig. It's uh, faith. It's like anything else. You have to get, you have to put something into it to get something out of it. And uh, we'll get infinitely more out of faith than we can ever imagine when we put time and energy and love into it and when we don't. Not because of some sort of strange game God made, but because... <laughs> Who's to the yawn? How about that? Good morning, everybody. I need coffee. Because that's the way God designed reality. And he designed it that way, believe it or not, for our contentment, ultimately, and our happiness. Uh, but people who have issues with authority or pride will always frame things that way. <clears throat> and because that's the mother of all sins, pride. The resentment that, um, oh, I'm not God. But we're not. And uh, we should be thankful that the God we believe in as Christians is as forgiving and kind and desires of reconciliation. Because not everybody believes that God is of that demeanor. And Christians are. And I believe Jews too. Maybe, maybe some Muslims, I don't know. I mean, they all talk about Allah being merciful, but it's some pretty hard stuff. And I still, I like to wrap my mind more around the sense of ownership in the religion of Islam. We have like tears. Anyway, God bless everybody, even those who hate us and those who fear us. But today's uh, fourth Sunday of Advent. We celebrate uh, the days drawing closer to celebrate the mystery of the Incarnation, and Joseph is a pivotal player. He says yes to God when God totally blows him out of the water with unexpected circumstances. So that is a great thing. Joseph never says a word, but acts on it. So you notice, no Santa hat. Things are warmer, so the upstairs is actually hot. And besides, I'm trying to make my hair look, look as uh, nice as it can. Mass and it found a little on my arm. I don't know what that is. Sorry. Said Jeff is a sort of pronounced his squirrel. I got a scar or something that came off a little scab in my hairs. Sorry, I'm, I'm rambling. The other thing is uh, the uh, messianic title today King of All the Nations. And he is, he is King of All the Nations. When Jesus Christ returns, he will return as king of all creation, of all nations. Not cre oh, I know what it says. It says sap from the tree. Yeah, sorry. We got a live tree. This is the first year we had a Canaan fir. Black Fraser fir is better. They got stronger branches. But Jesus Christ comes as king of all the nations. He is the one who brings ultimate meaning to all the nations. In fact, Christians would probably say the meaning of life is to know God and to know Him through His Son, Jesus Christ, and be filled with the Holy Spirit. That is the meaning of life, to seek the Father through the Son and their Holy Spirit. Hmm. Stifled you on there. Anyway, we had a family uh, Christmas today, so we're looking forward to that, have everybody over at the house. I pray all of you have a very blessed uh, fourth Sunday of Advent, as we try to follow the man of action, Joseph, and accepting that God is coming into our midst, physically. You know, you'd see physical manifestations of God in the Old Testament, but you couldn't actually approach God and touch Him. And with Jesus Christ, we can do just that. That He is incarnate in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, 
conceived by the Holy Spirit, but incarnate at the same time. The one, the one uh, conception that is an incarnation, because he existed beforehand. Anyway, five o'clock. Oh wait, five minutes, not five o'clock. It's like what is it, five forty-one? Anyway, have a blessed Sunday, everybody. My right, prayers for you, and we'll uh, see you in the, the next few hours leading up to the most wonderful time of the year.